Good evening, YouTube community. This is Martin from Martin's Model Shop, bringing you the final on my latest build. It's a AMT kit. It was a, it is a 1957 Chevrolet Bel Air. Uh, I'll give you a spin around so you can see. I painted it with acrylic craft paint. It's painted with folk art, um, black flash. It's a flip flop paint. Um, it's called black flash. And um, it has a lot of gold metallic in it. It is black looking, but it's got so much gold in it, it's, it uh, makes it look like a heavy, heavy metal flay gold. And the top is um, done with uh, pearl silver. Uh, chrome around the side this is all done with uh, bare metal foil and uh, a lot of it is uh, some of it is done with uh, the Moloto pen uh, the lettering on the trunk is done with a Moloto pen and on the hood also the interior is silver and black um, and the floor is done with embossing powder. Now I take the hood off so you can see. Well, there's a close up of the front. And a close up of the back, I'll do also. I'm going to get the hood off for you. If I can get it off. There it is. The engine is detailed. There's uh, wires on it and MSD box. I made an MSD box and wired it in. The induction system is uh, a shoebox style of fuel injection out of a 63 Corvette kit. And the uh, wheels are from the Color Me Gone uh, Dodge kit. And I modified the back to make it all fit into the spindles. And lowered the front a little bit to give it a little bit of a rake. The exhaust is heat treated uh, throughout the back and under the chassis the bolts are detailed on the bolt and uh, on the fuel tank and it's pretty smooth it was primed with uh, white primer and uh, sprayed with the black flash uh, full guard paint and again uh, the interior is done two-tone silver and black it came out pretty good this kit has a lot of fitment issues around the, the original chrome parts that fit onto the car but just got it like any other kit you just got to work through them and make make it fit and make it work all in all it kits uh came out okay it's uh like i say it's an amt kit and it's molded in teal which makes it a little difficult to paint but uh, anyway, I hope you like it. Uh, it came out pretty well. Uh, it's another one from my rack, and uh, probably this is probably going to be the last bill I'll finish for this year. So that'll wrap up this year. I think I've done 12 so far this year. Uh, anyway, if you like it, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, and if you have not subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you do so. And Feel free to leave a comment at the bottom. Uh, I try to leave I answer all of the comments that y'all leave because I value your opinion, and uh, your opinion sometimes makes me make better models. So again, this is Martin from Martin's Model Shop signing out. Y'all have a wonderful weekend and a blessed weekend.